into the wind listening and smelling seeing if there's any reaction from the other males he was calling as he came out um, so we should get another roar from him soon Vium, can you quickly go in on the main, on that leaf? No, it's not a leaf. It's a baby chameleon. Have you ever? <laughs> I've never seen that before. How cool is that? It was probably, it probably came, got onto the main. It probably got onto the main when it was marking and putting his face through through a branch <laughs> how cool is that <laughs> imagine having to tell that story I hitched a ride on a male lion's mane shame the poor little guy must be so scared though flap necked chameleon <laughs> I can't believe my eyes I wonder if the lion knows he's there There's another vehicle joining us. I just want to point this out to them. It is spectacular. Hey, fish up. Over the main, eh? There's Mompimpa and Lumfan inside the main. Just behind the enclave. Poga Gashi with the Gogolos. That is unbelievable. Just look at those little guys' eyes. Look at, look at the eyes moving around. <laughs> well, the one thing, it might get a bit of food there. And there might be a lot of ticks and stuff inside there, so it's not a bad place to go for a, for a ride. I think I nearly wrote that off as just a leaf being stuck in there. <laughs> I think I'm out of words. It is probably one of my most memorable sightings. A chameleon on a line. Not probably, definitely. <laughs> See how he's using his tail, his tail's moving around almost holding onto some of the, the mane as he moves around to just give extra balance. See, it's going darker. Look at those black spots. It might be getting annoyed. <laughs> Looks like there's a tick somewhere just in front of that chameleon, just below it, behind the ear. The ear's closed it now.
Traeger, you are asking what would happen to the chameleon if the lion found it. I don't think it's going to be a very pretty end to the chameleon, unfortunately. I think the lion might get a massive fright if this guy walks right over onto his forehead in front of his eyes. So he might get a hard slap, but um, if it just falls off and the lion doesn't hear or see it, it might get away, but uh, I don't think it's going to be the prettiest end for this poor little guy. little chameleon catch something now? Did you see the tongue go on? I just saw some movement. Maybe it was the front leg. See how that chameleon is looking around. It almost looks like he's well, his eyes are out of out of its sockets. It sits on the skull itself. Oh, further out, allowing it to have each eye have a 180 degree view around it. I think it's checking out the ear as the ear moved. <laughs> Do you see the sudden move, sudden movement of the ear with the with the male? I think he might have heard something. Might be other lions roaring far off. It's too far for us to hear, but he might have picked it up. We'll see what he do, does next. Back to scanning. I think what I might be hearing, it sounds like there's impala on the other side of the dam that's alarm calling. Jen, you are saying this is a once in a lifetime sighting. You are absolutely right. This is incredible. It is crazy to think that this little guy got <laughs> end up on the lion's mane. And just to think about all the other stuff we had earlier, the roaring and the activity and the leopard tortoises. It's been a fun filled activity, full afternoon for this lion, interaction with small creatures. Normally we're all looking at lions hunting buffalo, or that's what we want. But I think this was crazier and more amazing than any of those. I'm gonna just move the vehicle quickly. Well, if I move the vehicle, we're going to lose the chameleon, but to get a shot of the face. Let's see if he, let's rather see if he turns around.
Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a lovely afternoon. It's been a privilege to have spent it with you. And yeah, I'm still out of words with the sighting. Um, it has been lovely. Have a lovely evening or have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you in the morning again. Thank you.